Traveling around central New York, Bob and Linda White drive from Rochester to view one of the four waterfalls in Onondaga County. We would have never gone to the waterfalls in the wintertime if it wasn't for this calendar. Their guide, a 2010 calendar featuring waterfalls of the Finger Lakes. October's picture was Pratt's Falls Park located 30 minutes south of Syracuse. While visiting the places in their calendar, they tried to find the hidden treasures in those areas. And the things we've seen a couple months ago, Chittanagua, the name of that park? Chitnango. Chitango, okay, that one. There's a grist mill there, how cool that was. And then what about the one with the covered bridge? They had a covered bridge, oh, is it in New, Newfield it was, Newfield. We were at that park right. there. Yeah. They had a covered bridge, it's the only one in the area that you still drive through. But unfortunately, their first trip to Pratt's Falls could be their last if the Onondaga County Legislature follows through with its budget cut. Many parks in Onondaga County are owned by the state, but Pratt's Falls Park is owned by the county, and that is where the issue is at. If the county cuts the funding for Pratt's Falls, it could fall to the city of Pompeii. And Pompey is willing to accept the responsibility, but Onondaga County Legislator Bob DeMore doesn't think they can handle the load. It's about 200 and 30 or 40,000 a year, and that would be a big burden for Pompey to pick up. But his plan is to keep two of the three jobs at the park filled. The rest of the slack would be in the hands of the park's members. I figured that they were the people that used the park the most, and I wrote them last week, and I've heard back from most of them. They're all interested in getting involved and forming a friends group and keeping the park open. And if his plan is accepted, you can bet the Whites will be back next year. Robert Lowry, NCC News.